So it's time we have a little chat about a big issue. And that is how unbelievably dramatic this lighting looks. <laughs> Today we're going to be looking at a golf ball which gently wraps against the death bell of golf. Yes, that's slightly dramatic, but please stick with me. So this is a Callaway Chrome Soft X LS. This is a premium golf ball from Callaway, which costs... And it's been brought out to sit alongside the Chrome Soft and the Chrome Soft X. Callaway does something very simple here. The XLS spins less than the X, and that's, that's about it, really. Now, you may think, Pete, that is a very subtle difference, and, well, you'd be right. The XLS, like many modern golf balls, is a four-piece construction. And what the golf ball is designed to do is when it's struck with softer shots or around the green and pitches, the ball will spin more. But when it's hit hard, the inner cores compress and trampoline that ball out towards the target. So it launches high, it spins low. And it's that combination which is allowing some of the best golfers in the world to propel the ball gargantuan distances further than the ball has ever been hit before in professional competitions by the majority of pros. And that's a key thing to understand. <sighs> now with the driver, one of my issues is I often spin the ball a little bit too much. So over the last few days, I've hit a lot of drivers, but 20 of which I would consider to be decent strikes. And my average backspin was about 16 to 700 revs per minute backspin. Now that's not a lot. If you get the ball launching at say 17 degrees with 1700 revs of backspin, you're going to get a good amount of carry. And when that ball lands, it's not going to be spinning. It's going to be bounding down the fairway. Now, first question I want to ask is, are you personally actually bothered about the ball going further? Yes, I'm talking about professionals, but I'm also talking about your everyday golfer as well. You know, is it something that you think will affect your game if, oh no, no, not the value of sin. Whew. Would you actually like to see a rollback of equipment. I don't want to see just yet on these shots. I need more distance. I'm desperate to get into the valley you're seeing. Or are you someone who actually watches the golf and likes to see that ball be as hit as far as possible? Certainly uh, Bryson's <laughs> show that he put on at the Arnold Palmer Invitational was pretty special. Go on then. Ooh! Take that one. Yesterday, I actually tested the Chromesoft X LS against a Pro V1 on some 100 yard wedge shots. And the difference in backspin was only 500 reps. And it just shows how incredible golf ball technology is that you can get a ball that stops so quickly and spins so much on a wedge shot. And yet when you hit it with the driver, it just flies so far. It's incredible. It's amazing engineering. But at the same time, it's only going to keep going. A lot of goings in there. But I think you know where I'm going with that. So the Chromesoft X LS. Brilliant ball, absolutely fantastic. Does exactly what it says on the tin. Rolling back equipment is a complicated subject and you can split it into many different categories, but I'm just gonna split it into pro and amateur. Now I'm sure many people have seen by now Bryson DeChambeau, absolutely pulverizing driver at the Arnold Palmer Invitational on his way to a only one stroke victory. However, it was incredibly impressive to hit it that far over such a big dog leg to minimize a par five into really an easy par four. And if he'd have actually gone straight for the green, I think everyone is agreed that he could have made the carry. It was amazing what he did and the crowd there and everyone around the world really as a golf fan was energized by that moment. But that kind of shot, which has been made possible by the physical work that he's done in conjunction with the modern equipment, shows where the game of golf is going. Because I can guarantee that there's gonna be a lot of young golfers watching that, both professional and good amateurs, who are looking at themselves and thinking, you know what, if I can transform my body to something like that, I can have a massive advantage over my competitors. And as exciting and as energizing as it was what Bryson did on the sixth hole at Bay Hill. Will it be as exciting and energizing if in 10, 15 years, 
30 to 40 pros are going at that green? Probably not. Because remember, the conversation here around modern equipment is not just the golf ball, it's also the golf clubs, but this Chrome Soft XLS in combination with a low spinning driver and a high swing speed is just gonna go so far. And equipment companies won't stop. If they can get a ball that spins a little bit less, launches a little bit higher, comes off a little bit faster, they're gonna keep knocking down that door because it gives them an advantage over their competitors within the golf club and the golf ball market. Now, a lot of people will consider Rory McIlroy's recent comments on this about how most amateurs actually don't want the game to become harder. And the advent of modern equipment with the bigger club heads, it has made things easier, especially on bad strikes. But let's say equipment was rolled back, both the golf ball and the club. There's nothing within the distance debate that says the golf clubs can't remain as forgiving. So if golf clubs are forgiving, but the tees are moved forward, for example, is that a real problem? I don't think so. So moves like that could help safeguard some of these old courses, which professionals simply can't play at anymore. What I don't want to see in golf is bifurcation. Pretty sure I said that right which will see professionals and amateurs using different equipment. I think one of the very best things about golf is that you can play the same equipment as the pros, you can go to the same courses as the pros. So you watch it on TV, you watch it online, and you think, oh God, it'd be good to play there. And then you're out there, you're playing it. I think that's great. I don't want you to think of me as someone who would sit on the balcony of a clubhouse overlooking the links, glass of wine in hand and complain about how modern equipment is ruining the age old traditions of this great, great game. If you've watched my content recently, you will know I absolutely love smashing drivers as far as possible. But I also understand that to keep many of the best courses that we have and to really bring a little bit of skill back into the game in many respects, something does have to change. So by skill, I mean playing a variety of shots. While I don't mind seeing nice wedge shots, which that wasn't one of them, which flow high and which stop quickly, stop too quickly. It's also nice to be able to see shots with a lot more variation, the ones that run along the ground, the ones that curve much more in the air, balls where you can generate a lot more backspin. Hitting the ball a long way is a skill. There's no doubt about that. But I think golf can be a lot more fun when it's played sometimes along the ground and not just up in the air. So get down into those comments below. Let me know what you think. Is this the time to actually start the rollback of equipment before it gets way too far down the road? It may already be too far down the road. Do you not care? Do you think we should just keep going, going, going until we just get balls which are being blasted 500 yards? I net out on thinking that golf needs a few more different elements of skill being brought back that some of the older golf courses do need to be safeguarded. So we can enjoy the very best professionals playing them, but also we can enjoy playing them for the true original test that they were designed for hundreds of years ago. But in the meantime, I'm gonna use every advantage that I can in the rule book and use these low spinning balls, use these low spinning drivers. That golf ball is unreal does exactly what it says it will do. Interesting. Okay, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It really helps the channel out. I would absolutely love it if you did so. Make sure you get down into those comments. Follow me on my other social media platforms as well. I'll see you down here next time.